They say the champions don't do one thing 100% better, they do a hundred things 1% better than their competition. As an example, during the recent Tice show in Las Vegas, I found myself standing in the main display hall for a moment to let some of the beauty soak in. As I reflected, it became clear to me that this is a feeling far too few in our business seem to understand. I asked myself why is there such a disparity between the beauty of these presentations and those of the typical retailer. It seemed that at nearly every turn there was another beautiful and innovative product to explore. Aren't these the same products available to display in our stores as well? When you walk onto the Tice show floor for the first time, there is a certain feeling of anticipation and excitement in the air. One cannot wait to see what's new. Isn't that how our customers feel when they first approach our doors? They probably haven't really focused on flooring products recently and are anxious to see what's new and exciting. Ask yourself how much excitement is created when first entering your showroom. Another reason that customers don't see what's new and interesting in our showrooms like they can at surfaces is exactly that. They can't see them. Why? Because there are so many wing racks of boring, indistinguishable products in the way. When you go to surfaces, most vendors make no attempt to show every product in their lines, just the important ones. They show them in large pieces. They accessorize them well. They use proper lighting to highlight them. When a customer enters your store, can they immediately determine which products are important? Does each display serve to impress the customer, or do they merely confuse her? If you have displays that cannot build a compelling reason for the customer to desire the product shown, then get rid of them. Let the customer have enough space to be able to stand back and create a vision. When customers come into our stores, they want to be wowed. They want to create a room in which they can express themselves and be proud of. While price is always a factor, it is seldom the prevailing issue if one gets emotionally engaged. This can only happen in our stores if we thin out our showrooms and allow it to. Are you giving your customers a chance to dream? Or are they stuck in a maze?